Finally, you can pay for your LIT rides using your smartphone. This is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com and here's a quick look at Touch & Go's new QR Transit. QR Transit is a new feature in the Touch & Go mobile application. Uh, before that, let's make it clear that the Touch & Go app is not the same as your physical Touch & Go card. It's an e-wallet on its own and it uses its own separate balance. So you have to top it up separately using your credit or debit card, online banking or Touch & Go pin reloads. With the QR Transit feature, you can just flash your QR code to pay for your LRT rides. Using QR Transit is pretty straightforward. It only takes three steps. You unlock the phone, you launch the Touch & Go application, you tap on Transit, and that's it. There's no PIN codes required, and you just flash the QR code as you enter and exit the gates. At the moment, this is running as a closed beta, so only selected users will get to see the Transit icon in the Touch & Go application. Right now, it only works at seven stations on the Kelana Jaya LRT line. This covers Ampang Park, KLCC, Danwangi, KL Central, Kerinci, University, and Kelana Jaya. From first impression, it works pretty well and it's better than I expected. You just held the phone about 10 to 15 centimeters from the reader and the gate opens immediately, just like how you use a physical touch and go card. So it works pretty well and I'm pretty impressed with it. Since QR Transit is dependent on the smartphone, you need to ensure that your phone has enough battery and it has a stable internet connection. The QR code needs data to load and it refreshes every 30 seconds. Another thing to take note is the brightness of the screen. If it's too dark, it won't be able to read. Overall, I actually enjoyed using QR Transit. It's easier to pay with the one thing that's always in your hand, which is your smartphone. And I do hope that it rolls out to more stations, including MRT lines. And if you look at QR Transit and the Touch & Go app as a whole, it's actually more convenient because you can top it up with your smartphone anytime, anywhere, and you don't need to find a physical kiosk like you do with your physical Touch & Go card. If you look at Touch & Go app as an e-wallet, well, they have a long way to go. At the moment, they don't have that many merchants and you can see there's a lot of competition in the e-wallet space. You have FavePay, you have Vcash, you have Boost and recently, there's a GrabPay which aims to be very aggressive in Malaysia this year. At the moment, Boost claims that they have more than 25,000 merchant touch points while GrabPay aims to surpass that figure by end of this year. For me, I already have a physical touch and go card and I don't like the idea of maintaining so many e-wallets and it would be great if Touch Go could reintroduce the reload feature on the app whereby I can top up my physical Touch & Go card immediately without the cumbersome pickup device. So what do you think of QR Transit? Is this something you want to try out? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be notified when we release a new video. And thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.